The most important thing is using your anger, right? Because when somebody is disrespectful, especially if you're a nice person, you, you, you are very quick to forgive people. And that's, that's good for some things, but that's bad if you don't know how to control it. Use your anger to allow you to follow through. You, and, and anger should only be used to keep people away, not to get revenge or to attack them. That's the whole point of anger. The point of anger is to get you to act to confront them get you to act to, and to and get you to act to keep them away from you never for revenge that's uncontrollable anger because for example the story that i that i said about that girl was keeping me away is, is disgust honestly but that disgust is also filled with some anger it's like the bitterness of that disgust is the anger and that anger has no hatred towards her as a person per se it's more so what she represents to me that's not something that I want. I wish you the best. I want you to be successful, but please stay the fuck away from me, right? And as long as you practice not hating the person and you just keep the anger merely strictly to the, to the situation, not the person. In other words, I don't want me and you together. Not I hate you. Not, not I hope you die. Not, this dynamic, I don't like it. It disgusts me right that type of mindset allows you to use anger and stay rational because when you use anger sometimes it could go it could turn into you wanting revenge and when you do that now you're getting reattached to that person and now you liken them and now you're reinvesting in it because anger creates a lot of love but the type of love that's toxic and that's difficult to leave this type of thing that i'm talking about is a mixture of anger and mindfulness being present using your anger like you use a sword now speaking of anger this is a perfect example of what i call controlled anger right and this ex this example is of the fresh prince of bel-air where will smith as we can see it here he's defeated is dating a female version of the terminator and he is she's being totally disrespectful he and, and, and he's just taking it. Well, let's see how what causes that and how does Cartoon Bank, which is his cousin, how does he deal with it? Let's watch. <laughs> Janet meet Tony. Tony, Janet. Okay, so this is his uh, um, cousin, Janet, and let's watch how she begins being disrespectful. Hi, Carlton. Hi, Will. Hey, how you doing, Tony? Ah. Right, she doesn't let him speak to other women. That's my cousin's best friend. And notice the facial expression is more fear. There's no anger on, in his part. There's more fear. And this is why anger is so important because your anger sometimes can push you past your fears. Do I look like I care? <laughs> Aren't you feeling well, Janet? You seem a little and, cranky. And notice how he's speaking completely different than Will Smith. Will Smith speaks in a... Oh, watch. How you doing, Tony? Ah! That's my cousin's best friend. Do I look like I care? Right? <laughs> Aren't you feeling well, Janet? You seem a little cranky. And that matters. The way that you talk matters. Because when somebody's trying to intimidate you, if you don't respond with, with fear, they tend to get frustrated. And they either get more agitated, which reveals their, their card, or they start to respect you. And the way that he's talking, he's talking in a more firm voice. That's, more, that's, that's your power language. No, no, she's just kidding around, Carl, and that's what makes it so much fun. Will, this is a great jacket. Uh, right? Okay, so that's how he's supposed to act. And notice how she controls him with the eyes. Jacket. She's looking at him. Does she doesn't say a word because that's that's how you show your dominance. Thanks. Thanks. Right? Are you like saying grace or what? Yeah, I've been praying a lot lately. <laughs> and this is the thing about her, like I said. The reason why she has so much control over him is also her willingness to get angry and show it. That I am, okay, I'll be honest with you. I've been, in, I've, I've been, in, I've been intimidated by women who, who show anger so willingly. There's a, there, especially when I don't want to leave, there's a certain intimidating factor. The, the way that she's doing it is toxic, but you guys can sense the soul of what I'm, of what I'm saying is that you have to be okay with making, it, with making it awkward for some people. Remember the story of the, of my classmate who, who he was being made fun of and we were all drunk, but we didn't, we didn't notice we were making fun of him, honestly. And one of his friends just 
told all of us. Was, he was like, hey, I don't like the way you're talking about him. And we, we noticed we were being disrespectful. It got awkward. But in order, f but we all gained respect for him afterwards. But to gain that respect, he had to be okay with getting dirty. He had to be okay with intimidating, with, 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 with being able to ruin the vibe for the sake of his friend. And only anger, controlled anger, can take you to that place. William, if you don't stop talking out of the side of your mouth, you're going to be talking like that permanently. All right, people, you see, this is when you call the cops. <laughs> like somebody, yo, Will Smith, oh my God, this is like his relationship with Jada. Holy crap. Ew, break out the mida. <laughs> right, Jazz. Now let's let, now we, you're gonna see how Carlton speaks to her. Jackson. William, ever since we've got here, you've been going on and on about Carlton this and Carlton that. Boy, save your charm for the girl on your arm. And she's willing to be disrespectful in front of everyone. Someone has a rude hat on tonight. Okay, lots out. William, my soda is warm. Yo, Gia. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I need more ice. You need more ice what? When he says he needs you need more ice what? The reason why this is if you notice the way she looked at him when he said that, if he would have said you you need more ice what? She would have just ignored him. But because of the way that he said it, she felt like his authority was a threat to her authority. And the only reason, like I, I'm going to talk about, the only reason why he feels the need to, to, to be aggressive is because she's being unjustifiably aggressive towards someone who doesn't deserve it. So his, his place of anger comes from a place of righteousness. I need more ice in my warm soda. <laughs> oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. Watch. And usually this type of behavior comes because somebody was being, was spoiled. Her parents most likely let her behave that way. And so a lot of the times when people act this way, sometimes it's because they're just hoping for somebody to put them in their place. They're hoping for somebody to show to them, putting them in their place in their minds. It means they care. It's like kids who, whose parents really didn't, whose parents let them do anything. They found their parents allowing them to disres to dis be disrespectful as a sign of you don't love me. S some kids, and some kids, some adults, all they want is somebody to put them in their place. Seriously. Now, you don't do that for that reason, but what I'm telling you is that there is there's a part of human nature that people, if you, if you just look, stay looking at appearances, you're just going to see an intimidating girl. You need more eyes, please. In the firm voice is what matters. And if you look at Will Smith, he's petrified. He's petrified. His, he, has all, he, he has his face is all reactive. There's a lot of emotions. But Carton is what? Like, I remember how I told you? He's more, there's a firmness. His voice is quiet. It's more like the firmness. He said, you need more ice. Please. Because so he stood up to her and the way that he stood up to her, the truth was it was all in his tone of voice, honestly, because if he would have said it, you, you need more ice, please. What that would have done is made her even more aggressive and, and just the tone, like notice the tone, right? Her, she sounds, there's an emotion, there's anger. Him, there's controlled firmness within himself. And that and, and that sturdiness, that that ability to stay grounded when you're confronting someone and stay calm, comes through doing it. And and you don't have to create problems. All you have to do is just confront the little moments, little confrontations in life. You gotta pay your bills. You gotta fire this person. You gotta hire this person. You gotta pay. You 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 gotta confront this person. You gotta tell off this person. You gotta. Speak your mind to this person. Speak to mind to like little moments of you standing up for yourself will build up that habit and build up those muscles. Heads up. And I could promise you their fear is invigorating her. But his lack of fear also is conflicting. It's fighting against the fear of the room, right? And 
what that does is that it just shows your inner strength where everyone else is afraid except you. And some people just want to intimidate you. And all you have to do is stay firm. And the way you do that is just being willing to walk away, like we'll see in this video. Well, I'm sorry. I've got to say something. Janet, your behavior this evening has been completely unacceptable. And, and the reason why he's doing it is because he's not afraid of her. And, the, and, and usually when it comes to people, like we're not afraid of people killing us, but what we are afraid is of losing them. That's the other metaphor of death, right? We may not die, but we're going to metaphorically lose them. And that creates fear. And so you react like this. But the willingness to leave them is what creates the courage. It's what creates, it's what reflects strength. Carl. Come from man is count for a lot. I'm sorry I've got to say this, but I simply can't sit back and allow this rudeness to continue. And and that comes and what caused that is anger, right? Anger and being fed up. That's it. It's not fear. He wasn't feeling fear. He was more so feeling contained anger. You owe every one of us an apology, especially that poor waitress. And if you refuse, we are taking you home and continuing the evening without you. Do I make myself clear? One Again, it's the right the willingness to kick her, kick her out, the willingness to send her back where she came where she came from, right? And that is what caused this effect. You know, I'm gonna miss him. This is what happens when women are too domineering. They become this woman, and when women date men who are afraid of them, they become that woman. And when you become that woman. You attract a man like Will Smith. Predator attracts prey. But this predator was really a predator be out of self-defense. What she wanted was somebody to take the reins and let her be a woman. And now Carlton is going to get a woman who is super who's feminine in terms of like not masculine like a got like a terminator like she was. All because she just wanted to finally trust a man who could domineer her. And, and domineer is not like a negative term, but put her in her place, right? Some people just want somebody to put them in their place. Like me, like me, I, 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 don't, I don't mind being put in my place if you're right. Being put in my place is a good thing. You know what I'm saying? It's not a negative thing. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> And, and, right but that's that right there that's human nature that's human nature it, at its finest that's human nature yes Carlton. right and that's you get that response because it's just they just don't know human nature right they're looking at human nature from a place of fear not from an elevated perspective where you un, where you sort of could see Everything, not just from the point of view of fear, where you can see the whole panorama, and you develop that ability through a meditation practice, like literally that, like that allows you to see the wisdom, knowing this is wisdom, right? Because it's so counterintuitive, but it is true. When when you don't take people's shit, and you defend yourself like your child being being attacked by a bully, you stand up for the for for, for your child. If you stand up for yourself from that perspective, from that self-righteous, because notice the reason why he stood up to her was because he felt righteous. He knew what what she did was wrong, and he knew that she deserved to be put in her place. Right? Why? Because that was the anger emanating from him. It was the anger that allowed the righteous anger that allowed Malcolm X to become a civil rights leader. The same with, with, with Martin Luther King, the anger. Even Jesus got angry and defended the house of God because he saw people gambling, the righteous anger. Some of you guys get hurt and because you are so ghastly and you have such low self-esteem, you, you blame yourself and you get angry at yourself instead of getting angry at the other person and using that anger to deflect it, to deflect them and push them away. So rather you push yourself away from yourself and you alienate yourself and that creates self-hatred man and that creates even more self lack of self-awareness and more dependency on somebody else now since we're watching how to confront disrespect this is more of the subtle form of disrespect this is more of how to confront them in normal conversations let's talk about how to com how to 
prevent people from trying you so that you don't have to punish people okay and that is as important as how to punish people who are disrespectful towards you and this part is from the 33 strategies of war and this is actually from my robert green book club and if you guys want to join the robert green book club you can click on the description down below and purchase and become a patreon supporter and there you get access to my whole library of robert green books where i review it in a similar fashion all right guys we're gonna have a brief intermission so I could tell you guys about our new bundle that we're doing where you guys can purchase all of my courses and get it at a discount. So this bundle is pretty much um, the bundle where you could just buy all of my courses. You could buy um, Nice Guy, which is a training course on how to come across more assertive, how to come across more confident, um, how to not give off Nice Guy vibes. You guys can get access to Dark Game, um, which is my full dating course on how to meet women in different scenarios, how to attract women, how to make sure you don't come across as creepy, and essentially how to act like a man and not act like a doofus, to be quite honest with you. Um, and you get all of these bonuses, which is the bonuses of Dark Game, the bonuses of Practical Mastery, uh, which is about how to master a skill, Social Mastery, which is how to master your social life, and the Laws of Human Nature, which is a book club video that I had dissecting robert green's book you, all of this is naturally at around 238 200 no naturally is at 346 dollars but you guys can purchase this bundle and get it at what, what's the price again uh get it at um two 238 pretty much um so you guys can purchase it right now um it's a money money back 30 day money back guarantee uh it's a good way to rather than just buying them individually and paying extra you guys can just purchase everything at a discount price now the only thing i don't like is the fact that i'm giving you a lot of inf information at the same time that makes me kind of scared because a lot of times people don't do the things that i teach when i when you get too much information but i've gotten too many requests to do this so i'm just satisfying you guys purchase it right now by clicking on the description down below where it says purchase the bundle all right let's continue with the video